I am living in the largest Muslim country in the entire world and this is why I decided to try fasting for one day because it is one of the most widely recognized celebrations in the world and I wanted to learn more about it. The idea to fast for Ramadan got started because I got this requested many times by my audience as well on YouTube and on Instagram. And since I love to listen to you guys, I decided to just give it a try because I started this whole channel to experience different cultures around the world. And especially during this month, I want to try and understand what so many people around the world are experiencing during this very spiritual time of the year. Ramadan is the most sacred month of the year for Muslims and it is celebrated by more than 1.8 billion people all over the world. Ramadan is the ninth month of the Islamic calendar and it is historically the month when Allah started to tell the Prophet Muhammad the divine verses which would eventually become the Quran and the Quran is the central religious text of Islam believed by Muslims to be a revelation from God. During the month of Ramadan, Muslims devote themselves to their faith and come closer to Allah. During this month, all Muslims are obtaining their from eating any food, drinking any liquids, swearing, smoking and engaging in any sexual activity from dawn until sunset. Besides being a month of fasting, it is also about spiritual reflection, about prayers, doing good deeds and spending time with family and friends. This month creates a sense of community from Muslims all over the world who are spending this special time together. Fasting is one of the five pillars of the Islam which forms forms the basis of how Muslims live their life. The other pillars are faith, prayer, charity and making the pilgrimage to the holy city of Mecca. This all goes towards increasing their taqwa which is someone's godly consciousness or general spiritual goodness. So the last meal of the day that I can have will be before sunrise so that is called sahur and then I can only eat after the sun goes down which is called iftar and this is also an Indonesian referred to as buke puasa. Throughout the year, Muslims pray five times a day. One time before the sun rises, once in the early afternoon, once in the late afternoon, one time before the sun sets, and one before they go to bed. Since I won't be praying today, I will use this time to reflect and to meditate. At the end of Ramadan, there's a big three-day celebration called Eid. This is a religious holiday where all family and friends come together to share meals, to exchange gifts, and to have a great time. After learning so much about Ramadan. I am really really excited to try it out for myself. I have no idea what to expect and I never did such a long fasting before and I will start my fast around 4 or 5 a.m. in the morning just before sunrise. Before I start this video I want to say that I am making this video coming from a huge respect and willingness to learn. If I do or say anything wrong my sincere apologies already and now let's get started. guys it is now 4 40 in the morning and i can tell you it's really really early <laughs> we are now having our last meal before the fasting is gonna start and this meal is called sahur so we have some crackers we have bananas papaya lots of cheese here cheese as well then we have the protein bars peanut butter as well crackers so hopefully this will do it for today I just finished this entire bottle of water. I've had all the snacks, I feel very full, and right now it's time to go back to sleep, so I'll see you guys in the morning. Good morning, it is currently 10 a.m. and today is my Ramadan day. I actually slept in a little bit because I was a bit tired from waking up in the middle of the night. So we woke up at 9 and it's now 10. So we already have a five hour fast going on right now. And I do have to say I'm getting quite thirsty now already because I'm so used to drinking water in the morning and I'm already looking forward to my coffee big time. So really curious to see how it goes without my water and my caffeine for the next hours. Good morning. Good morning, girl. Good morning. <laughs> How are you doing? I'm good. Yeah, you're not thirsty yet? Very thirsty. Yeah, right? No, I don't know if we drank enough water, but that's okay. <laughs> <laughs> 
So for today's Ramadan experience, we are staying at the beautiful Yama Bali. This beautiful resort is located in Balian and it is overlooking the beautiful Balian River, where many serene wellness and healing traditions were hosted amongst its sacred waters. That is why I couldn't think of a better place to spend this special day. They have 10 rooms which are carefully designed with a nod to Mediterranean style and finished with graceful Balinese touches. All rooms are located along a beautiful garden which offers spectacular views over the Balian River. And currently I am sitting right next to this beautiful Balian River. As you can see, it is straight up stunning. And then we have the pool here. So it only shows how amazing this place is. It is now currently 2 p.m. And I've been doing a lot of meditation, self-reflection, and I was laying in the sun for a little bit. I even swam into the pool because it's so hot and I just needed to find some cooling off because normally I would drink lots of water now, but I can and it's still going quite okay. I'm only very tired and just like I said, very dehydrated. It is coming now close to 4 p.m. and I am getting so insanely tired. That's the main thing that I have. So I'm tired and I'm really thirsty. I am so thirsty and I have a big headache. So I find it difficult to think and I'm trying to meditate a lot, but my mind keeps wandering off to other things. And and also I try to do some work, which is quite difficult. So being productive is a big challenge. Before I go any further with this day full of challenges, I quickly wanted to introduce you guys to PaySend. PaySend is an online remittance platform to send money to Indonesia, which is very easy, fast and secure to use. It has been used in more than 90 plus countries and by more than 5 million customers worldwide and it has a flat fee transfer and good currency. Users overseas can choose to send their money through debit or credit card and it will be received in Indonesia via e-wallet or bank account as long as the receiver's bank has Visa or MasterCard on it. And last but not least, I wanted to mention that PaySend has a very low transfer fee and sometimes even they have promotion going on where there is no fee at all. PaySend is accessible through app and their website and there's now also a special promotion going on so definitely check out the link in my bio. It is currently 4 p.m. and the funny thing is that this is my fifth attempt of recording this shot and I am just so tired, my brain is so foggy and I feel like I can't focus, I can't talk anymore. But I want to say that we're gonna check out at this beautiful place here and right now we have to drive home to Changu and there we're gonna meet a few people and we're gonna break the fast together. So right now is the point where I'm like, okay, this is really hard and the respect is coming very far now for all the people who are doing this for 30 30 days because it's I can say it's not easy at all it looks actually quite rainy so hopefully we don't have rain on the road and I will see you when I'm back in Changu all right guys we made it back to Changu but I feel horrible I have such a huge headache and I can't think anymore like talking is very difficult but it's almost time to break the fast for Iftar I'm with Nikki still and right now we are headed to the beach to meet some friends of us who are Muslim and we're gonna break the fast with them and I can't wait I I'm so excited, especially to drink water. And I think I'm gonna even have a coffee, even though it's 6.30 p.m. when we do the break fasting, but I need it. So I'll see you at the beach. Finally made it to the beach and it is almost time for iftar and I literally can't wait because as I said a hundred times already my head is hurting and I'm super tired but I'm not by myself. We have friends who joined us and the first one. Hi guys, my name is Zidane. Zidag, I keep forgetting it. <laughs> but thank you so much for coming. I put on Instagram stories that I was looking for people to break the fast with because I just didn't want to do it by myself. I'm very unexperienced and you responded. Yes. 
and we're gonna do the fast together. And you're from Jakarta, yeah, from right? Jakarta. And how is fasting for you? What's really like the most difficult part, easy part? Uh, it's a special month for the Muslim. Yeah. Yes. So uh, not hard for me. No. Yeah, I'm enjoying it. Yes. Enjoying it. Wow. It's very so, good for your body too, you know. It is, but for me it's pretty difficult yeah. actually. That's why. So you're not used to. So if you're used to it, it's for you quite easy yeah. now. It's very easy. Wow. And I am here with Adjung as yes. well. It's very difficult for me to pronounce her name, but I guess I did it you well. Got it right. Okay, perfect. You are Muslim as well? Yes, I'm a Muslim. And you're fasting? I am, yes. A question. What is for you the most difficult part about fasting during Ramadan? The hardest would be because of the weather. Especially yeah. in Bali. Yeah, that makes total sense. It's really hot today. Yeah. <laughs> and then you would just want to go to the beach or maybe to, into the pool and just swim. Exactly, or maybe exactly. Like a sip of water and everything. Yeah. Like really, really, I think the, the, the most difficult part would be because of the weather. Yeah. I mean, I could go on a day without eating anything, but without water, it would make you super dizzy, maybe. You, you felt that. Today. 100%. That's what I feel. Yeah. Guys, it's time to break fast. It's 6.21. Oh my god, this is gonna be so good. Let's see the time so I can show you. 21. 21. But that's why you're here and you, so that you guys can tell me how I do it. Before we drink, we should... Uh, yeah, pray. But you know how to pray? I forgot it. I just always say like, Bismillah and I don't drink. That's, that's totally fine. When you break the fast, then yeah. you, can, you, you need to uh, say the prayer. Okay. Yeah. But since uh, you, this is your, like your first time and you're not, yeah. so that's totally fine. You can just say Bismillah. Bismillah? Bismillah. Yes. Okay. Bismillah and then you drink the water. The whole glass? Yes. Up to you. Up to you. Okay. Yeah. If you like the, the whole glass, the okay. whole bottle, that's totally fine. Okay. To do it. Cheers, <laughs> guys. Bismillah. Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Bismillah. Wow, great to see Susan oh, first. Susan's first fasting. zip. Yeah. Oh my god. Oh, that water is just amazing. Yeah, and then you should yeah. get the sweet. Okay. Yeah. Okay, Bismillah. cheers. 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 <laughs> oh, I needed this. Yeah, it's very good. In my tradition, in my family, after we break the fasting, we pray first and then we eat. Wow, okay. So water, date, and then praying, and then eating. Yeah. Okay. It feels very special, like, I love it. It's such a good feeling that you have right now, like you have something achieved, you can be proud, and you feel pretty healthy, actually. It's okay. Yeah, for your body. Yeah. Very, very good. Exactly. I think that's going to be my conclusion and the end of the video as well, that I realized that I can go without food easily, but going without water and for me as well, coffee, especially in the heat in Bali, is so difficult. Like, it's really, really difficult. And for me, this was such a beautiful experience. It was very eye-opening and I have so much respect for all Muslims around the world in whatever temperature they're doing it. It's still so difficult and it's for me really, really amazing to see this how it goes to experience it but guys thank you so much for watching please do not forget to like and subscribe and i'll see you in my next adventure